Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Chag Chukat. Chag Hanukkah Sameach. Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah means dedication, but as much or more, it means rededication. And we're going to talk about that today. Um, you ever see a baby that's learning to walk? You know, it, it, it tries to walk, and then it falls, and then it gets up again, and again, it, it tries to walk, and then it falls, and this goes on and on and on, but eventually, the baby learns to walk. That's a little bit like rededication. Um, now, the beginning of our relationship with Yeshua through Yeshua to the Father, starts out, you could say, with dedication. Um, through Yeshua, through his blood, we have atonement. We have shalom with God. And we receive the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, and the new birth. And the rest of our lives are a continuation and process of rededication. Let's talk about, let's talk more about rededication. Our lives can be broken down in this way. We live with every heartbeat. We live with every breath. Every day, as it is written, this is the day that Adonai has made. Every week we have Shabbat. Every month we have Rosh Chodesh, the new moon. Every year we have the three festivals, Passover, Shavuot, and Sukkot, and the rest of the holidays. Every seven years, we have the sabbatical year. And every 50 years, we have the year of Jubilee. As we see, our lives are full of rededication. But where did Hanukkah start? In 165, before the Common Era, there was an evil king named Antiochus Epiphanes. And he outlawed Judaism and Jewish practices. And he desecrated the temple. He slaughtered a pig on the altar. But the Maccabees, a, a, a family of Kohanim, a family of priests, rebelled against Antiochus Epiphanes. And they led Jewish forces and fought back and defeated the Seleucid army against all odds. Then they cleaned and cleared the temple and rededicated it back to God. There were two miracles. One was the defeat of the Seleucid army. The other is when they were dedicating the temple, they were, they were going to lit the menorah and they only had oil for one day, but the oil lasted for eight days. Uh, now it is unclear whether this happened or not. Uh, whether it's a legend or not. But we certainly know that Hanukkah was a festival of miracles. Amen. It is also notable that in John chapter 10, 22 and 23, it says Yeshua was walking in the temple during Hanukkah it is highly likely that he was there to celebrate Hanukkah. Then, let's go to the Vahavta. 
Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love Adonai your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These words which I command you today are to be on your heart. You are to teach them diligently to your children and speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign on your hand. They are to be as frontlets between your eyes. And write them on the doorposts of your house Amen. and on your gates. Amen. God is calling us to rededicate to him, to love him. And delight in the word of God. Isaiah 40 verse 8. The grass withers. The flower fades. But the word of our God stands forever. God's word is trustworthy. And that is why we can dedicate uh, ourselves to him. And in Psalm 119, verse 96. I have seen an end to all perfection. But your word is exceedingly broad. Now, I believe there are four levels of justice. The first level, when it happens immediately. The second level, when it happens later on, let's say six months or a year. Or if it happens uh, a long time away for maybe 10 or 20 years. And then the final level is when we don't see justice in this world. We only have justice in the world to come. But we can know that there is justice. There is justice, whether it happens sooner or later. And that is why we can dedicate, rededicate ourselves to him. Because he is trustworthy. In Psalm 44, 9, in God we boast all day long. Amen. What are you boasting about? Are you boasting about your favorite sports team? Are you boasting about your favorite TV show? Your favorite uh, celebrity? Your favorite singer? Or are you boasting in God? And it says all day long. Amen. And in Amen. Psalm 62, 9, trust in him. At all times. Again we see it is always. And. There's the story. In this week's Parsha. About. Joseph. Joseph. Had a hard life. In his youth. His, his brothers hated him. Because. He was the favorite. Of Jacob. Mm. He was the favorite son. Of Jacob. And his brothers hated him. And uh, one time when his brothers were taking care of the flocks, Jacob had told him to visit his brothers to see how they were. And they saw him from afar off. And they said, let us kill him. And they put him in the, a pit they decided one of the one or two of the brothers said, "Let us not kill him. He's our flesh and blood." So they slow. Then a caravan of Midianites came by, and the brothers sold Joseph into slavery. Then he went to Egypt as a slave, and then his uh, the master. His wife tried to seduce him. And he ended up, even though, even though he was innocent, he was put in jail. 
Joseph had a hard life. Mm. But after all of this, God, he interpreted the dreams of Pharaoh's serpent, servants. And God, he became the assistant, like the prime minister, to Pharaoh. God blessed Joseph at the, after all of those difficulties. Mm. The call, the call of rededication is a call to the individual, as we spoke before, to the assembly when we go on the holidays and other days, to the nation and to the world, as the ecclesia, he's calling out to people to be his people, the ecclesia, and wisdom, wisdom in Proverbs 8, 4, says that it cries out to all mankind in Jewish thought. Hanukkah is like Passover. Mm. Freedom and deliverance to the nation of Israel. In Deuteronomy 12, it says, The eyes of the Lord, the eyes of Adonai, your God, are always on it. That's Israel. From the beginning of the year to the end of the year. We dead our cases. We dedicate our lives to him. But he dedicates to us. He is his eyes are always on us. And the shofar, the call to rededication, is a call of the shofar. Right. As it says in Zechariah chapter one, verses two and three. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Return to me, says the Lord of hosts, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. Again, it is mutual. In Psalm 34, verse 14, Seek peace and pursue it. But there's also a time to wait on Adonai. It is written, Wait on your God continually. Um, the journey is a constant journey. As in a marathon, the runner runs and he must complete the race. Yeah. In uh, the light in the menorah in the temple was to never go out. In Exodus 40, 38, it says, um, but if the, uh, uh, for the cloud of Adonai was on the tabernacle by day and a fire was there by night okay. in the sight of all the house of Israel throughout all their journeys. In Proverbs 3, uh, Matthew 7, 7. Keep asking, and you shall receive. Keep seeking, and you shall find. Keep knocking, and the door shall be opened to you. In Proverbs 3, 6. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. Are we, are we acknowledging God? At all times. In Proverbs 3.17. Its ways are ways of pleasantness. And all its paths are peace. It is not a burden. It is a blessing. Amen. In Colossians 3.17. Whatever you do. In word or deed. Do all in the name. Of Yeshua the Messiah. Giving thanks to the Father Amen. through Him. He is the name above every name. He is the Alpha and the Omega. 
rededicate to Messiah. And in Proverbs 16, 3, commit whatever you do to Adonai. Amen. And your plans will be successful. Are you co committing things to you, to the Lord? Are you committing things when you wake up in the morning, when you go to work, when you're praying, reading the scriptures, going out with friends, going to synagogue, commit whatever you do to Adonai, and your plans will be successful. Do you ever ask for God's angels to come and be with you and to lead you? In Joshua 1 8, this Safer Torah, this book of the Torah, shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do all that is written in it. Then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Amen. Meditate day and night, at all times. The concept of martyrdom. This is connected to Hanukkah because the Maccabees and the Jewish forces fought against the Seleucids and they won. But it was at a high cost. Soldiers died. Israel, Hebrew soldiers died. And because of Hanukkah, um, it became the, the thought of martyrdom became important in Jewish thought. It became considered to be the greatest of all devotion to God. It was called the Kiddush, Hashem. Kiddush is sanctification. Hashem is the name. They consider it to be the sanctification of the name. And later Christians also had similar beliefs. We are called to dedicate our lives at all costs. As Job said, though he slay me, yet shall I praise him. Rededicate to Messiah Amen. with your relationship with God. Rededicate to Messiah at all times. Amen. Rededicate through the Torah. Rededicate at the call of the shofar. Rededicate in the light of the menorah. Rededicate wherever you go. Rededicate in all your actions. Rededicate in all your thoughts. Rededicate Amen. and you will have success. Amen. Rededicate with all your life. It is written, not by might, not by power. But by my spirit says, I deny. Uh, Shabbat Shalom. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Rabandi.